First, we have some break. Fighters have been battling a huge house fire in Elizabeth, New Jersey. They were desperately trying to keep the flames from spreading from home to home, and it appears mission accomplished in that regard, but it was nasty to try to put out. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson is live at the scene with the breaking news. Anthony. Yeah, Bill, you can see the smoke from this fire from many miles away. We saw it as we were driving up the turnpike. As a matter of fact, still smoke pouring out of the house. But firefighters, as you said, did an amazing job to keep this fire contained to the one house where the fire started only minor damage to the homes on either side of the house. And when I asked the fire chief what was the reason that you were able to contain the fire, he just said plenty of water. But there was a very tough moment, a touch and go moment when firefighters were actually inside of the house and there was a collapse. They had to get out of the house right at that point in time and do an exterior t attack. Now, we did get an opportunity to go ahead and talk to the fire chief a short time ago, and he told us about the efforts to put this fire out. Upon arrival, uh, we were met with heavy fire on the second floor of the main fire building. Uh, shortly thereafter, our guys uh, did an aggressive fire attack. We had a, an early collapse inside. Uh, and forced us out. Forced us out. Go ahead. And they did an amazing job once again stopping the fire before it spread to the two houses on each side. They suffered minor damage. The main house, it appears that the fire started on the second floor. The cause of the fire is still under investigation at this point in time because it is still very, very early. But the good news to report, no injuries to firefighters and all the civilians that lived in that house were able to get out on their own.